Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Ikechi Bukhidu, and I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today, we are, we are looking at deliverance prayer from the spirit of pride. Deliverance prayer from the spirit of pride. Now, pride comes before destruction. Pride is a capital sin in the life of every believer. Praise the Lord. Pride, the overestimation of oneself. Praise the Lord. Now listen to me, you may be looking at me now and say, but you don't think you have pride. Now listen to me, anything that makes you think you are better than others is the spirit of pride. Anything that makes you think that you deserve better than others is the spirit of pride. Anything that makes you look down on people is the spirit of pride. Anything that makes you use people because you think that they are dependent on you is the spirit of pride. Praise the Lord. The spirit of pride is real and it is a major roadblocker because the Bible said God resisted the proud. God is the one that resists the proud. Are you hearing me? If you are proud, you are, you are pitched against God. Pride is a capital sin. As a child of God, you must keep rejecting it. God told you to do a job because you think that you are you think the job is small. You say you are not going to do it. That is pride. Praise the Lord. That is why some of you, the reason why God has not blessed you is because the spirit of pride is inside of you. The little money that enters your hand, God sees the way you behave. God sees how you talk to people anyhow. You are not even arrived yet. Just little prosperity you have. God has already seen how you are already maltreating people under you. That is the spirit of pride. That is why the big breakthrough you are asking God for, he has not done it yet. God is watching the way you are treating people that are under you. God is watching the way you talk about them. God is watching the way you look down on them. God is watching the way you have distanced yourself from your friends that are not doing well. Those of your friends that God has helped you by privilege, you are now succeeding more than them. When you see them, you remove your face. When they call you, you, you refuse to pick. When, when there is a reunion, you don't identify with them. You go and identify with the ones that are already successful. That is pride. When you are discriminating among people based on their social standing, that is the spirit of pride. Praise the Lord. The spirit of pride. Well, because you have money more than your elderly ones, you don't respect them anymore. Because you are seeing money more than them, you talk to them anyhow, you send them on errand. That is pride. When you have no respect for elderly people, you talk to them anyhow. There are some of you watching me right now, you can insult anybody, you don't care. You can insult anybody. Anybody that provokes you, you don't even care the age, you don't even care the hair, white, the gray. You can insult anybody. You're, you don't have fear for anybody. That is pride. That is what? Pride. Some of you, somebody that knows a skill that can help you. Somebody has a, 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 an information that can help you. But because that person is your junior, or you look at that person as a lesser person, pride has not allowed you to go to that person and say, please teach me this thing. You, I mean, I mean, somebody, you know that this person has something you need. But because you feel the person is lower than you, pride has not allowed you to go down and say, please, I need this information. Teach me. Pride. The spirit of pride. The spirit of pride. I used to think that only rich people are proud. But I've come to see that the proudest people in life are the poorest people. The proudest people in life are the poorest people. If you come to Africa, Africa has the most proud, the proudest people. And that is why we are still the poorest in the continent. You come and you see people who have, who have no regard for elders. People who have no regard for authority. Pride. The spirit of pride is a dangerous spirit. It's a dangerous spirit. You may be watching me right now. Pray this prayer. Because pride is the only thing that can destroy your progress. I used to tell single men, don't marry a proud woman. If you marry a proud woman, she's going to bring you down. If you're a man, if you're a woman, don't marry a proud man. If you marry a proud man, your family, you are, the man is going to go down. You're going to suffer. It doesn't matter what he had when he married you. Every pride, proud person is heading for destruction. But you shall be delivered today in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall be delivered from the spirit of pride in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray this prayer with me. Pray them with all your heart. And I say God will deliver you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Say with me, say, Father, thank you, Lord, for giving me the spirit of humility. Pray that prayer right now. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the spirit of humility. Thank you, my head of time. Thank you, my head of time. Thank you, my head of time. Father, I thank you for you are the God that has given me the meek spirit. The meek spirit. The spirit of humility. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord, for baptizing me with the spirit of meekness, with the spirit of humility. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for baptizing me with the spirit of meekness, with the spirit of humility. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you for baptizing me with the spirit of meekness, with the spirit of humility. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Next prayer. Father, anything in me that makes me think I am better than another person, let that thing be flushed out of my life by the blood of Jesus. Anything in me, any spirit in me, that makes me think I am better than the next person. That is a demonic spirit of pride. Let that spirit be flushed out of my life by the blood of Jesus. I cast that spirit out from now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remember the prayer of the Pharisee and the tax collector. The Pharisee said, Father, I thank you. I do this. I do that. I am not like this publican. Oh God, any spirit in me that makes me think I am better than the next person, I cast out that spirit now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cast out that spirit now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit in me that makes me think I am better than the next person, I cast away that spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I cast away that spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I deliver myself from that spirit now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pray this next prayer. Every spirit in me that makes me look down of people I think I am better than. Oh God, deliver me from that spirit. Deliver me from that spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver me from that spirit. That is the spirit of pride. And this spirit that makes me look down on people. Lord, deliver me from that spirit. Deliver me from that spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver me, Jesus, from any spirit that makes me look down on people. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver me, Lord, from every spirit that makes me look down on people. In the name of Jesus, deliver me, Father, deliver me, Father, from every spirit that makes me look down on people. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Oh, God, any spirit that makes me exalt myself as though I am the architect of my life. Oh, God. Oh God, deliver me from that spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver me from that spirit. Deliver me from that spirit. Roba da bayakata, every spirit that makes me make, exalt myself as if I am higher than I'm the architect of my life. Oh God, by your message, deliver me from that spirit. Deliver me from that spirit. Deliver me from that spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver me from that spirit, Lord. Deliver me from that spirit, Lord. Reba koseketeria. Deliver me from that spirit, Lord. I am where I am by your grace. Not by my strength, not by my knowledge, not by my power. I am who I am by your grace. Not by my strength, not by my power, not by my intelligence. Oh God, any spirit that makes me exalt myself higher than I expect, as if I'm the architect of my life. Deliver me from that spirit, Lord. Deliver me from that spirit, Lord. Deliver me from that spirit, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Next prayer. Oh God. Deliver me from the spirit of discrimination. Pray that prayer right now. Oh God, deliver me from the spirit of discrimination. From the spirit of selective friendship. You are discriminating people. You are relating with people based on their social standing. Even when you see your mates that you, you are privileged to be better than, you isolate yourself from them. You separate yourself from them because you think you are better than them. Oh God, deliver me from the spirit of discrimination. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord, from the spirit of discrimination. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver me from the spirit of discrimination. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver me, Father, from the spirit of discrimination. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Next prayer. Oh, Lord, baptize me with the spirit of respect. And reference in the mighty name of the prayer, prayer, Lord, baptize me with the spirit of respect and reference in the mighty name of Jesus. Every to respecting my elders, respecting my mates, and respecting those that I am privileged to be higher than. Oh Lord, baptize me with that spirit, the spirit to respect my elders, to respect my mates, my peers, to respect even those that I'm privileged to be higher than. Baptize me with that spirit, Lord. Baptize me with that spirit, Lord. Baptize me with that spirit, Lord. Baptize me with the spirit of respect 
and reverence, reverence in the mighty name of Jesus. Baptize me, Lord, with the spirit of respect and reverence in the mighty name of Jesus. Baptize me, Lord, with the spirit of respect and reverence in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pray this next prayer. Oh Lord, give me a teachable spirit. A teachable spirit. Many of you don't have a teachable spirit. When they try to tell you something, say, I already know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. You don't want like asking questions. You claim you know it all. Your spirit has stopped learning. That is why your progress has stopped. Oh God, baptize me with a teachable spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Baptize me, Lord, with a teachable spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Baptize me, Lord, with a teachable spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Baptize me, Lord, with a teachable spirit, with a teachable spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Baptize me, Father, baptize me, Father, with a teachable spirit, a teachable heart, a heart that always want to learn, a heart that always want to be taught, a heart that always want to observe. Baptize me with a teachable heart, an inquiring heart, a heart that asks questions. Baptize me with a teachable spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now make this declaration. I declare my cup empty from today. It is only an empty cup that will be filled. I declare my cup empty today so that I will be filled with your knowledge. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I know nothing. I know nothing. I declare my cup empty, Lord. I empty my cup. Paul said, everything I think I knew, I count them as dumb that I may know him. Lord, I declare my cup empty today that I may be filled with your wisdom. Make that declaration right now. I declare my cup empty today. I declare my cup empty today that I might be filled with your wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare my cup empty today that I might be filled with your wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you. Begin to appreciate him. Begin to thank him. Father, we give you praise. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for the spirit of pride is out of my life forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Child of God, pray this prayer. Make sure you pray. Pray it all the time. I won't be surprised if this video doesn't get much views. I won't be surprised because many people, the devil will fight you from watching this video. But I encourage you to pray it. Share it to people you care about. Give it to them. Spread it. Let them be delivered from the spirit of pride. So that progress will come in the mighty name of Jesus. I encourage you, if you are not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, and you'll be glad you did. My name is Stephen Pastor Ike Chuchitibu, and I will see you in the next prayer video. God bless you.